Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sadish. So I was a Google Summer of Code student with Loclack. Loclack is a distributed peer-to-peer -peer anonymous scraper. And what we do is uh, there are lots of servers uh, which are distributed peers. So they connect to Lo they, uh, this is called the Loclack net. They connect or to the overall uh, to, to Twitter servers across the world. And they scrape the tweets one by one. And they store them, they harvest them. So this is called the harvester. Uh, so what exactly is this? It's a backend search and which keeps data open. So what we know as of now is if you want to use if you want to use Twitter uh, if you want to use Twitter data, you need Twitter authentication, the OAuth. But Loclack allows you to do that without a password or without uh, things like that. So it's completely open data. You can do a lot of things with that, and there are endless possibilities. In this talk, I'll be talking about a few of the things that we have done and what we could accomplish with this data. So first thing is it's anonymous. So you can directly run your own server. You can scrape Twitter data by yourself, or you can use the existing loclack.org. We have an amazing API for you to directly query. You'll get a JSON response, and you can use that. Um, uh, so what are the functionalities that we have? There's a very quick search functionality because of the Elasticsearch shards that we are running. And uh, it's running on uh, Elasticsearch. You can uh, integrate Kibana, which is a front-end visualizing tool, to it. And as well as it's running on a Jetty server written in Java. Uh, there is very fast response time. So in case you post a tweet right now on Twitter, uh, within the next one second or one and a half second, the harvester automatically takes that. Uh, it has peer-to-peer -peer architecture, and it takes a pretty less space. Uh, why should one use Loclack? Because the, it's open data. We don't need a password in case you're uh, private. In case you're very pa uh, passionate about privacy, you don't want people to know what all the data you're taking. In case you want to use it for research, be it uh, some kind of sentiment analysis or some something to do with behavior, or trying to analyze uh, who's going to win the U.S. elections, for example, you can try to do them. So how does it guarantee the anonymity? Uh, it does not record your IP address uh, whatsoever, no matter what queries you make. Uh, there is complete control over what things you are going to log by yourself and what you want to store if, in case you're running your own server. And since uh, and any short links, so in case you have bit.ly or any links like that, it automatically unshortens them for you so that you can just hit it without any redirects. Uh, so, it's a, it has distributed peer-to-peer -peer architecture. That means anywhere in the world, people can put that up. And Twitter also has something called, uh, in, in case you request Twitter too many times, they block you out for some time, like one, one hour or one and a half hour. With Loclack, that does not happen because of the distributed architecture. If one of the servers has, has the tweet, it will automatically start sharing the tweets within the servers. So what are the possibilities? Uh, some of them are research. Some of them are customer support and uh, complaint tracking, things like that. One of the applications that we have built uh, using this large amount of data, so we have 170 million tweets that are indexed as of today. And uh, one of the applications that we built was for the government of uh, Telangana in India. So using the concept of passive governance. So people generally do not want to go and complain to the government officers because they keep bouncing them front and back. But using Twitter, they randomly rant about it. All these rants could be used productively. So using Loclack, we are scraping all of that information, using the sentiment analysis in it, and trying to give it to the government, telling that people over here have a problem, and these are the kind of problems that they're facing. So it's a very productive tool. It can be used for bettering cities, making smarter and better cities, for improving the amount of sentiment analysis research that we have existing as of now. And uh, we also support lots of API. So. We have API for Python, a very easy pip install Python Loclack API. API for Node, npm install Loclack. And similarly for Ruby. Uh, so as I said, the government use case is, one of, is just one of the use cases that we have. There is massive amounts of data visualization that can take place using Loclack. And it's something that's worth exploring. Thank you. So just one thing, in case you want to contribute to Loclack, you can head over to loclack.org. Uh, it's very easy. You can fork and clone the repo, run the ant build tool on it, and just write bin slash start.sh. So it basically starts your server. And it runs on almost all the platforms, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Thank you very much.